Hey everyone, it's Kelly Day, mixed media artist from Colorado, and I'm here today to talk with you about art and healing. I want to show you a few quick video clips on some fun things that you can do to use art as medicine. A lot of people come to me because they have trauma in their past or they were told, you know, that they weren't good enough or had abusive parents or neglectful parents. Um, or they were told that they weren't um, ever going to make a living from art or that they didn't have the talent. And no matter how much work you do in your life, still those early voices can form your identity and hold you back through your whole life. So uh, here are a few quick clips to show you some soothing ways that you can use art to just relax and stop looking at it as a having to create something amazing, but instead, because that's a lot of pressure, instead looking at it as here are some soothing ways that I can use art as a process or a vehicle to just enjoy yourself and soothe your soul with your paintbrush. All right, let's jump in. Moving paint around is just one of the most healing things because it puts your brain into the mode of just being in the flow and getting out of all of that thinking that we always do, which is what makes us crazy. Moving pen on paper is just one of the most relaxing things. It could be after a long day of work or just while you watch TV, but you don't have to think about it much. It's just getting in the flow and out of the zone. Any kind of doodling could lead to ideas for your paintings. Grab some paint markers and just make those zen doodles. Anything to get you in the flow and out of your head and to just start relaxing. Okay, I hope that gave you some ideas for how to use art as medicine, as healing, as a process, not just a means to an end. May your heart be filled with soothing, colorful, beautiful energy from your art today. Thanks.